Hello and welcome back to another Dragon Review. Uh, here we have Maya from the Ardennes in 1944, from the 3rd Fallschirmjäger Division, a Feldwebel. Uh, the figure was made in 2001, as you can see just there. The box is a little, little battered given the age, it's a bit sun damaged, but the contents is completely new, fortunately. I only really like to get my figures mint. Uh, sometimes with certain figures, I'll bite the bullet if they've been out, but everything's there. Because you can always try and replace stuff, get the originals. But here is accessories. So his Y straps in the Falschmjäger brown. Uh, his smock, Falschmjäger smock. Bread bag, Luftwaffe colour being blue. Canteen. The older Dragon model canteen, of course, with it being 2001. His pistol, holster, brown Luftwaffe belt with uh, Luftwaffe insignia on there. Two stick grenades. Uh, his neck scarf, uh, helmet with webbing over it. Two um, gloved hands as well, so you can alternate between having just the normal Dragon hands, standard, or having gloved hands for uh, that the paratroopers would have done given the cold environment you have a sten gun presumably captured of course uh, with a couple magazines then you have an fg42 with a scope which you can just see in the corner there with again a couple magazines i think um one thing that would be nice to potentially add to the figure is a fg42 bandolier which you can get in that camouflage just to add to it I mean some people like to keep it original generally I like to keep my figures original but can sometimes add a few things here and there there's the actual figure himself he's already got a pre-placed uh, medal so let's get him out there's just the back of the box showing you a few of the contents so PPK holster and pistol Porsche Mega gloves jump smock and helmet net so let's open him up. I've got quite a few other figures to get through that I've been meaning to do. So this is one of a fair few coming soon. Right, so here is Maya. And given the year he was made, 2001, the head sculpt is actually surprisingly good. One of the reasons I wanted to get this figure actually is it doesn't look like a 2001 figure. The equipment like the canteen however does, it gives away its age, but um, just looking at the figure itself you wouldn't necessarily guess that it's as old as 2001. Nigh on 18 years now it's been made since it's been made. So good articulation as you'd expect. You know, there are his trousers and his boots. He's got his jump boots, unique to the Falschmjäger, of course. And then he's got already done epaulets. They're the plastic kind that you get with the older ones. Um, so you don't have to put those on yourself. Same goes for the insignia, that's already in the tunic. So once again, don't have to put that on yourself. Um, here is his helmet. Again, no need to put it together. It's already been done. So all of the inside is just in there done already. So very little for you to actually put together for the figure. Um, here is his scar. There. His gloved hands, which I will be putting on him. So you get those two. Very nice. You get you get your Sten gun, which doesn't come with a holster. The holster um, strap, I mean. Pardon. Very good considering the age of it. Has a fully working bolt, as you can see. Slides down, 
so that's nice. And then a figure. I don't have a figure that has um, the FG42, as far as I'm aware, as far as I can remember, because I have a fair few. But as far as I can recall, I don't have a figure with the FG42. So it makes quite a nice change to have that, to add a figure that has it. So he has a little scope that you can just click on there, fits nicely on. And looks great as well. Really great weapon, the FG42. So I'm glad to have that. Just get a magazine out for it. And pop that in, so side loads. Like that, like so. And the scope has a little... Um, I don't know if that will focus, but it has a little um, stick that you can then put through the hole in the rifle. So you see the hole just there. It sort of pokes in into it like so to keep the scope on. has a little bipod as well, which is nice. So that's the FG42. Now I'll just get, let's move this. There's very little need for me to give any instruction on how you put this figure together. Like I say, as I've, as aforementioned, <coughs> excuse me, um, it's really no need to not a lot of effort to put this figure together at all. Um, it's pretty much all been done for you, the insignia. So past that, it's literally just putting the coat on, putting the equipment on as you normally would, and then that's it. So very simplistic. So, lovely smock, really good considering its age, you know, there's no marks on it or anything, but aside from that, I mean, given how old it is, very well made. Uh, there's his belt, here's his belt, one of the earlier models as you can tell, as it's just got a little hole there, which you poke through, so quite a quite a simplistic belt as dragon figures were they were quite simplistic so yeah that's pretty much that you've got his y straps his pistol stick grenades and magazine and they're pretty self-explanatory where they go so i'll show you guys when the figure is all made up all right so here maya is all done up looks fantastic really does look great so here is his fg42 being held all loaded up with its scope on and his helmet on and everything as you can see the straps on it look look decent considering it's 2001 fits very well the helmet's very snug no wiggle room or anything attaches well to the head bread bag water canteen of course fit well perfectly fine probably be adding a mess tin to the side of that of course having to look for the Luftwaffe one which is a brighter green um, and then here we have a stick grenade put in his boot and then the other stick grenade is in his belt and we have his pistol just there so as you can see he holds it nicely even with the gloved hands because if I just take this off him they're bendy so you can move them around you know as you need to and one great thing I love about the gloves on is that you can tuck the sleeves in this as, as they would have done so I mean just without without holding a weapon you can just see like the gloved hands in my opinion look great um, it's a unique item to have uh, in this sort of style, Volkswagen gloves like that. Not too many figures come with it, so looks fantastic. So he's got his pistol in his holster there, fits perfectly fine. He's got his neck scarf on, keep him wrapped up. And overall, just everything seems very well made, like it's just solid, you know. The standout item, if I have to say, is 
probably mo is probably most obviously the FG42. Um, wasn't exactly given to tons of figures, so there's not an abundance of it um, around. So, yeah, it looks brilliant with um, with him. So I'll just put that back in his hands. Hold on. Just get it to wrap around. There we go. So as you can see, he holds it nicely. Um, and yeah, overall is just really nicely made. There's nothing loose, you know, nothing that looks out of place or anything. You can always add a couple things on. So like I say, the bandolier, you can get it in the same sort of camouflage. So that will look great. And it gives you somewhere to put the uh, ammunition as well. And then the mess tin, which he seems to be lacking, of course, which he doesn't come with. Can I just say that neither of those he comes with, but I just want to add those personally. But yeah, so there he is all done up. I highly recommend him if you can find him. I only only cost me £40 all in uh, with delivery and everything. So really cheap for him because I've seen him go for over 60 before. Uh, not too long ago either. So yeah, really chuffed. And like I say, if you can find him, definitely worth picking up, especially if you like the Folsom Jaegers, which I certainly do. I think the Folsom Jaegers um, have some of the nicest uniforms as well. I just love like the helmet and the camo smocks. They just look great. They just look great. So, yeah, there he is. Uh, if you want to see any more um, photos or different angles of him that I may not have shown in the video I have my Instagram page which is the exact same name as my YouTube so feel free if you have Instagram to go over there and check it out and if you want to follow to keep up to date with any figures because generally I will put up a post of a figure when I get it or when I come around to opening it as I have a few that I've had for a few months and haven't got around to opening just because of being busy so if you want to see what to maybe look forward to review wise here instagram is the way to go to go and get a little ahead of the game and see what's coming but yeah that'll be that and i'll be doing another figure review either today or tomorrow and i'll release that as and when but like i say thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one